How you guys doing? Oh, let me fix this here. Uh, how y'all doing there? Uh, well, I've been driving this car around. Uh, my transmission problems are cured. Uh, I mean, it's fabulous. That's all. That uh, that Charlie, he did a great job on that uh, that valve body and uh, that TF3 kit and that spring and that spacer was absolutely the ticket. It is it is lightning fast shifts. Um, but this video is not about that. I have another problem now. So um, I am running uh, an. Ex what feels to be a pretty lean situation. Um, I am uh, experiencing uh, some surging. I'm experiencing very uh, noticeably clean tailpipes uh, with a little bit of a tannish color to them. I'll show you here in a second. And uh, real good throttle response, but uh, just uh, a little backfiring, a little bit, after when I'm cruising down the road 2,500 RPM or so, and I'm there for a minute or, two, you know, a little bit of time, it just, uh, it just doesn't seem to be quite right. Uh, throttle to spine, I mean, it goes. And let me tell you, I downshifted it probably from 45 miles an hour, 40, somewhere in my speedometer network. But down in the second gear, nailed it, and I mean, it took off. It it was quite strong. So, uh, and then right in the third, I mean, it was beautiful. It was really very quick, very excellent, uh, up in RPM, real fast. It's like a rubbing a chainsaw. I mean, it it was good. I was very happy with that. It feels like it's somewhere close, three hundred fifty horsepower, three seventy five. I mean, I was like, man, this thing. I've had other 340s that didn't feel that good. I don't know why this one, but still, it's not quite exactly right. So, let me show you my carburetor, and it's it's something that's kind of weird about it. Uh, right here it is. This thing is a 4776 double pump Holly, and. Uh, it's in excellent shape, but would you believe it's only a 600 CFM carburetor? And I actually never knew that. I didn't know that they had that. I didn't know they had a 600 CFM carburetor that's a double pumper, but they do. And uh, it is from the early 70s, and I found out... Uh, fix this here. I found out a lot of them were used on tunnel rams, tunnel ram application, where you got two of them and on a pretty built motor and you know then they work really good. But as a single four barrel, they're not supposed to be used on anything that's over 300 horsepower. And I know I'm way over that. So yeah, that's probably why it's not running as good as it should. So uh, look at these tailpipes. I mean, Let's see, I'll just show you right here. And if you can just kind of look in there. I mean, them things look clean. Except for there's a little bit of a brownish... A brownish look to them. Or a tan. See that light tan? So, uh, that's, that's lean. So, that combined with the... Uh, Really white looking spark plugs, which I don't have any out in my hand here to show you. The backfiring, the uh, surging, all that stuff. It's not good to run an engine lean. It's, the, it's something you just don't want to do. It, it creates unnecessary heat inside the com combustion chambers. And uh, so that's where I'm at. I've got this deal going on. I can change the jets in this carburetor, but fattening up that a little bit might help it, but I'm still a little worried that it's going to be too lean and I'll end up uh, hurting this engine. So I'm going to go to a, what I decided a while back before I even knew about this lean condition, 
I was gonna go ahead and uh, change cams, probably heads, and uh, carburetor. So uh, let me show you the cam I'm gonna put in here. Now the cam that's in it now is not not really a lot. It's it's a Summit. I'm sorry, competition cam I bought from Summit, uh, but uh, it is a, a mild hydraulic a 470 lift, a 268, 262 or something duration. It's, it's not a very big one, but this is what I want to put in here with these and uh, the 273 ductile iron adjustable rockers. Uh, and uh, this is, I've had this the whole thing so long. I mean, look at this, look at the age of this box. And this cam is brand new. It's a purple shaft, solid lift. Still got the purple. If there's enough sunlight, you can see that. It's there. Let's see, there we go. There's some purple. Uh, it's the 528. 528, uh, where are we at? Right there. 528, 284. Uh, that's the cam that's going in it. So, uh, it's old. I mean, I've had this, this forever. Uh, flat tap it. Hydraulic, I mean, I'm sorry, a solid lift, uh, flat tap it cam. And, uh, I'm putting that in there. And I just ordered something from Summit just a few minutes ago. I'm putting an 850 in it. 850 four corner aisle with a camshaft swap, heads. Uh, that won't be immediately, but the carburetor I'm gonna put on there as soon as it comes and see how that behaves if it darkens up the tailpipes a little bit. But the cam and all that is probably gonna be in the next few months, so I'll tear down and do that. But uh, I wanna see how that carburetor works just like it is. Uh, it does have the Speedmaster heads. Uh, the cam and it's, you know, it's kind of a truck cam. It's really not even really a, a real uh, race uh, hydraulic cam. It's more of a kind of an RV cam, but maybe a little better than that, but not much. So, uh, but you're thinking he's going to put an 850 on it. Yeah, but when I put that cam in it and uh, change them heads to, I don't know, the Edelbrox or one of those nice aluminum heads, that really pick, pick it up. Uh, I had a buddy of mine had a demon in 1980, I guess it was. Had a 340 demon, solid lift cam, 850 Holly, uh, 3500 converter, 488 gears. I'm 391s, but short tires, so it's, it's I don't have a lot of highway driving right now. Uh, man, that thing would come alive. He busted so much tail in Woodbridge, Virginia. He really did. He That thing... That thing was ter it was terrible, man. It was people were just like, I, I wanted to race. People would come down with their cars and say, when I said I'll run anything, I meant anything but that demon. I'm not running. Because he was taking everybody's money. And it was an 850 Holly on that car with a solid lift cam, like I say. And it, it just left and walked away uh, from many of cars. Now, he did have a little cheap thing there before people knew what nitrous oxide was. And he discovered it way back then. And, but my point is the 850 carburetor worked, worked great. So, uh, he had the X heads, which was the big valve 202 heads. And, uh, I think his was a little bit bigger saw lift cam, like a 550 lift, if I remember right. I, I witnessed it. I mean, I've seen him race 20 car. I mean, I think he just walked away from big block Chevelles, every, everything. Of course he was spraying too, but anyway. So that's what's going on. I wanted to show you about that 600 double pumper, which I never heard of that, and what condition, lean conditions look like in the tailpipes. So that's, that's kind of what the video is. Uh, and just give you an update on this car. So uh, I'll keep you all posted as I continue with this. Um, at the moment, I don't have anything else to add, uh, but it's, uh, there's more coming. All right, all right. Talk to y'all later. Please subscribe to me. Thank you very much.